Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, we are going to be doing something a little bit different today. Uh, we are going to be doing an installation of a part um, on the Novridge SSP1. So before we kick off with that, um, please, if you like today's video, hit the like button. If you would like to see more content from the site, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified when content is posted. Okay, so um, we are going to be uh, installing this guy here. This is the Novridge cutout, P, uh, cutout slide for the SSP1. Uh, let's get into this and have a look at um, what we've got in the box. So this arrived um, a few days ago and um, I've been waiting to install it. So we've got some uh, uh, washers, uh, rubber and metal. And then we've got the cutout slide. And the other thing I've got here is uh, the little fibre front sight as well, uh, which we're going to pop on the front of the slide. So let's get this out of here as well. And this is essentially furniture on the new slide. So I'm not sure what's in the little bag here. I can't really see anything. Um, I don't think there is anything. Okay. Um, I'm just looking at this to see what there is there. Okay, so... And uh, that's obviously going to pop into here, basically. Um, has probably a specific way it will go in, but we'll we'll figure that out in a minute. Um, interestingly, actually, yeah, that actually goes that way around. You can't see through the fiber optic site, so actually that goes in like that. So let's first. That's the first thing. Let's just pop this in here. Um, really doesn't look like it's centered it definitely is not um, I'm wondering if there's an actual tightener it's one of these things that basically you, you kind of got to eyeball it you just uh, I'm wondering if there's a little uh, what appears to be an allen key at the top here uh, I wonder if this actually tightens. Oh yeah, it does. So let's um, just tie that up. Hopefully that's something that will keep it in place. I don't know how um, centered that is, but um, we will see. It's a pistol anyway, so you kind of just point it at whatever you're hitting, you're close enough to it. So let's just down the, kind of look around. This is the metal slide it's metal it's got some different um, cutting cut marks on on it over the the original it's got some gaps um, in various places it feels pretty light it is an aluminium so first off let's let's get into the, um, the the SSP one and actually have a look at it um, always forget to do this properly all right let's get the this off and take off we don't actually need to touch this this is the, the frame uh, there's nothing that needs to be done on this it's all in this piece here this by itself at the moment is pretty heavy it's a good bit of weight to this um, but it's got all the parts in it so let's first off let's start breaking this down uh, first off uh, right, um, kind of need to push this back first. I get that is the um, spring spring guide and the uh, spring stop as it were um, we need those to keep those to one side those sort of thing then we've got the the barrel and the outer barrel and the inner barrel which just should just slide out like so again we don't really need to touch these uh, for this we will be working on this um, the, 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 the guide um, at some point now here we have to take out the uh, nozzle 
and piston and the housing for that um, and then we think this is actually quite a bit lighter actually already um, so there's a couple of things we need to do here we need to undo this screw at the back and we need to undo this screw here I think so my trusty iFixit screwdriver kit Let's see what we can think so that's really enough now these are probably being screw locked in uh, the, the installation guide on the Novich site has you putting screw lock on everything um, that has been so we take that off we'll pop that to one side um, and we need to do that one as well so we need a nice If you just heard, that just dropped through. And there we've got the carriage for the, the, the nozzle. Uh, there's the return spring. Um, I'm going to just kind of leave that as it is at the moment. I'm not even going to touch that. Um, just slide this out because we need this on here. And that was the slide. So there is a noticeable difference uh, between the two weights. Um, let's actually weigh those. So this has the front sight attached. This is the original slide. Now this is in grams. So according to the scales, it's 94 grams for the original slide. Let's pop on the new slide. The new slide is 84 grams. So the difference in weight between the two is not much. It's about, I say, it is literally 10 grams difference between these two slides. So the cutout here, the cutout here, the cutout here uh, has literally just taken 10 grams out of these two slides. Uh, they're both probably aluminium, so there's fairly minimal. Um, changes but essentially this is supposed to be a cut out lightweight slide uh, slide um, and it's only 10 grams lighter than the its cousin essentially so let's get everything in here so basically to put this back together um, you take the slide um, and effectively it should just pop in there and we pop on the rear sight again which actually just needs to slide through and the nozzle and everything else and then we just need to pop in the screw and tie that back up and that will hold that in place, the spring and everything else. Then we just need to pop the uh, the screw in the back with our Allen key attachment. Not doing this like speed, um, and that should just go in like so. And that is in. We've got our sights. I could have sworn there was actually a back sight to this. But, yeah, we have. Um, that is literally how that was fitted very quickly into the new slide. So this comes with a short stroke kit, which is this guy here. This um, basically is used to make the pistol um, short stroke a little bit. I'm not sure how good this short stroke is. I've seen a couple of different short stroke um, setups. And... Um, I am intrigued because so this is supposed to have um, three of these metal washers and three of these uh, rubber washers now I can tell oh no we've got three there 
Um, we've actually got, I think it's three, or is it four? Um, we've actually got, I think, more rubber washers than we have um, than we actually have um, thing. I'm not actually sure. I need to actually check. I'm just double checking actually. Um, just looking at uh, his installation video actually just to see um, how he's got I didn't actually put um, some screw lock on here actually I'll do that now just first I just kind of remembered I do actually need to put some screw lock on this um, it's pretty important apparently um, if if it comes apparently these this I've never had this on my high covers by the way um, but apparently um, the screws come loose so this is some medium strength Loctite screw lock um, which I'm going to pop on um, so it's not really I think it takes about a day to cure um, I don't put a lot on I don't want to really gung that thing up um, so the way that I understand this works and I'm just going to take this off at the moment so he has this odd way of actually fitting this which I, I don't necessarily agree with to be honest um, so basically he actually breaks this apart into two now I'm actually going to try just doing it without and just feeding it um, because um, well just because so effectively he does this in this way he does um, rubber metal rubber Uh, metal should end in metal but I don't have enough I swear that basically I he must be using this one here he must be using that to make the um, the last one because effectively it's got rubber metal, rubber metal, and then we've got that. So effectively, that's the spring guide um, done. I'm just going to gently put a bit of that on there for a thing. That will go on sort of like that. I can't remember which way around he has this um, spring, to be honest. Be honest, I don't think it makes a difference. Um, and effectively, you will that goes in there like so, and you slide that in. So, what we'll do is pop this back into the barrel, and that should just clip in. And there should be some grooves there which stop that moving, and then you just I'll figure out if it's upside down or not. It is. So. Maybe it does actually require his quite I don't know why he does it that way. Uh, I must admit it must be because um, the I think I need a couple of 
Um, see, it's just something. I don't want to break my toolkit, but actually, I'm using one key. Um, okay, so let's get back. Interruptions. I hate interruptions. So actually, that won't go in there. Okay. So I will use that. So we do have to just kind of break this apart. Uh, the two holes there with something to act as leverage. Yep, that's got a bit of screw, form of screw glue on there. Sorry about that. I'm going to keep getting interrupted. Um, so, a bit of screw glue on there to actually fasten this up as we're now putting this back together. A little bit on there. So, effectively, what we actually have to do now is pop that in there. Um, uh, that's the reason why it's got a little notch on there that's why it wouldn't go in then we feed the spring um, into there which actually just feels wrong Springs under tension and it's like this just does not feel like a really good way of fitting this spring. Given that right, so we fasten that in. Okay. It's We've got to tighten this up. So the way to do this apparently is uh, when it gets to a certain point is pop in a guide there, push it forward and kind of turn. It's really, 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 really fiddly, like fiddle with this. And then, kind of, um, oops, wrong thing. Just kind of just do that with both those and tighten them up. And that should have fitted the short strokes kit. And it just well, it doesn't feel that I think, but we'll see what it's like under under pressure. So that's kind of the thing fitted, really. Um, a little bit fiddly on here. I was missing one of the washers, but I reused one of the old washers um, to do the short stroke kit. Um, that was fairly straightforward. I'm just gonna put a bit of uh, leave on this for future. Um, and then let's pop, slide on to the base. Why is that? Oh, I can't. Hmm. Hold on, it's a safety on. Right. Okay, let's get the uh, this in. It racks, it fires dry, 
Right, I've got a gas mag, no BBs in there as you can see. Chamber is clear. Um, you can't really tell that, but it is definitely clear. Let's rack it and cycle. Pretty good. Uh, let's see if it racks back when it dies. So that was the one of the things about uh, the short stroke kit, as apparently it's got a large cutout here, which we should actually just check. Um, yes, so definitely got a larger cutout in this location here. So just there, that cutout is much bigger than the one on the old slide, which is just not focusing at the moment. Um, so that cutout is there. It's about my fingernail width on there and then on this one my fingernail is about half the size but it's about my thumbnail width so um yeah so it does rack back it's short strokes um and it cycles quicker so that's the whole point of the short, short stroke kit is it supposed to cycle quicker, like so it does feel a bit quicker the kick is thing but this has got guard of black in it um We'll see, we'll test it out, we'll play with it a little bit, um, see how it performs, see if it fixes any of the issues that I had with the previous slide and the, the gun before. Um, you know, it's a heavyweight piece of kit. Um, is the old uh, Novridge SSP1, still pretty heavy as a gun. Um, in terms of you know overall weight it's you know it's still quite a heavy piece of, of kit there's only 10 grams le lost by uh, changing the slide everything else in there is the same uh, there's nothing lightweight the the nozzle housing didn't look particularly lightweight um you know i've done a couple of high cappers recently uh with the lightweight um nozzle housings and um it's definitely not one of those <laughs> um it's a heavy duty housing um yeah we'll see um when it comes to using it how it performs in its new configuration but that was the novridge ssp1 having the cutout slide fitted um it took a little bit longer than probably novridge does it when he does it on his demonstration video but i was just kind of rambling on thank you for watching if you found today's video useful uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. But with all that, thank you all for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.